Hey guys, howdy. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of naked because I'm going to be doing a try on video. Um, while I talk, I'm also going to be sharing with you guys some of the new stuff that I got. I'm actually going on vacation again. I know I just did a vacation haul in like the previous video or the video before this. That one was more so like for family vacation. So I wasn't really like you know, going on a like like an excursion. You know what I mean? That was more so just like hanging out with family, going to Florida, um, went to Disney World and things like that. But this time I'm actually going on a real vacation, one where I'm not gonna work and I'm actually gonna be like relaxing, enjoying the beach, that kind of stuff. This is like a, a beach vacation. This is what the people overseas call a holiday. I wanted to share with you guys my more tropical, not island because it's not an island, but you know, more tropical vacation stuff. I'm not gonna be wearing any swimsuits in this video because I already showed you guys swimsuits that I bought previously. So this stuff is more so beachy attire. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys some of the more beachier stuff that I got. Oh, by the way, before I get started with all this other stuff, this vacation stuff, can we just talk about Crocs for a second? Um, why didn't y'all tell me that Crocs are amazing? Like, I've always hated them. I've hated the way they looked. I used to make fun of my mom and my brother for wearing Crocs. I used to like, what are those? Them all the time. And now I am turning into them. I bought some Crocs and I bought two more pairs. So I have these green ones and then I have some purple ones. Really excited about these as well because you guys know purple is one of my favorite colors. Okay, these are the ones that you, you know, you wear like with an outfit. <laughs> I got some gibbets from, um, from Amazon and they have like little characters. So you got some Disney characters, you got Yoda, Spider-Man, Iron Man, some Marvel people up in there, got some Lego up in there. And then on this one, I got more of the girly stuff. First off, I did, I got some stuff from Boohoo, ASOS, and I actually did order from um, one of my friends, uh, Daisha. Um, she has her own clothing line, so I ordered some stuff from her. Her line is called Four, P-H-O-R. And I'll link everything below in the description box. You guys already know this. I link everything below. But this is a backless top. Now I don't really know if I'm gonna actually wear this on vacation per se, but let me just go ahead and show you guys anyways. Because I ain't got no tiggo beaties, I can just wear this with no bra and do some pasties. But if you do have the tatas and you want a little bit more support, you would have to get one of those backless bras. So this is the top. It's gonna be really cute with a pair of jeans or even like a pair of jean shorts. It fits really nicely. This is an extra small, I believe. I believe there's a small, extra small. Um, this is a like sweater knit dress. Very, very lightweight and casual. Very lightweight for summertime, so you won't be hot, but it still gives you that knit look. It isn't like super tight on me. If you like super tight, you may wanna go down a size because it is, pretty true to size. So you can you can totally like button this all the way up and just wear it on its own. It is a little bit sheer though. You might need to wear something underneath it. I got some stuff from Urban Outfitters. Um, this isn't urban. Oh, this is old actually. I bought this earlier this year. I have a lot of knit stuff in here to like as like cover ups for like the beach and stuff. Cause I mean, I do plan on being fairly naked. This is just like a little beach cover up situation. You can wear a swimsuit underneath or you can wear shorts underneath and make it more of like a casual everyday thing where, you know, just out and about. Um, but I would probably wear this as a swim cover up. Hope it's still available on Opali because I definitely bought it like six, seven months ago. I did get some stuff from Urban Outfitters, like I said. Um, a lot of their stuff is, you know, marked down. So I figured I'd pick up some items. Now I may have to take these back. These are a size 25, but we're gonna try to get these bad boys on. I may have to take off these undershorts. Fluctuating between the 24 and 25, the gains are real. And to be quite honest with you guys, I think I'm officially not a 24 anymore because my waist. And then when I get up here, I cannot button it for the life of me. And if I eat anything, the pooch is out and sis will not button. I have to unbutton my clothes to eat comfortably in denim. So that's why you guys haven't seen me really wearing jeans like that because I've been really struggling. But yeah, I may need to go back and get a 26 in these shorts because they do run a little small. It is morning and I haven't eaten yet. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I probably should have, but um, it's early. So I could fit these a little better, but I know later on in the day, these are not gonna fit me. I can barely like, I'm not gonna be able to sit down in these. Ugh. But they're cute though. I like the length of them. They're a little bit holy. I don't look like an English teacher in them. You know what I mean? But they are saved enough to wear to vacation Bible school. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I like them. I feel like they're cute. 
I just think I need to go up one size. They were on sale for $10. So I feel like that was a good deal. Long gone are the days that I'm the smallest size in everything, you guys. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I'm usually the smallest size available, but I am now out of that category. I am the second to the smallest size. <laughs> this set is really cute. It was on sale. Um, the bottom was 19 and the top, I don't know how much the top was. This is the top and bottom. That's cute. I like. But I can wear these with my Crocs, you know, if I'm feeling real fancy. It's a knit material, so it fits really nicely. And we're not too naked. A few inches above the knee. And I like that the knit is very lightweight. It's very breathable. It's not too heavy. Um, but I love knit stuff. This is like a baby doll top. I'm probably going to take this back because I feel like I'm not really going to wear it and i know me and i know when i buy stuff just because it's cute it's a wrap top so you just tie it and see how low it is oh it is pretty low so i probably wouldn't wear a bra with this what do y'all think do you like it i think what really drew me to this was the sleeves i think the sleeves is what i really like about this i'm gonna keep it it's cuter than I thought it would be. So this is a dress from Choosy. A lot of you guys actually recommended that I try Choosy. I believe I posted, when did I post that? I posted about fashion and how I wanted to try different stuff and good quality stuff. And you know, I was tired of buying from the same stores that everybody shops at. You guys mentioned Choosy. Some of you guys recommended that I try Choosy. So I've been eyeing a lot of their stuff recently, but this was the main like bestseller dress that I always see them posting. And I was like, you know what? It's growing on me. I think I'm gonna get it. This will be my white night dress. We're gonna go out to dinner, go somewhere fancy. It has buttons here, so that's nice. I thought it would just be like a pull-up dress, but it does have buttons right down here, and then you cover up the buttons with the little fold over piece of fabric. So if you do wanna be more covered up, you can, of course could wear something underneath it. If you wanna have a little bit more sass, you can wear it like this. Cute dress, ooh la la. She fancy, she fancy, okay. I like this a lot. I do have a couple different shoes that I thought about pairing this with. I did get wanna get some wedges cause I've never owned like a pair of real vacation-y wedges. These are the wedges that I got. These are by Semi London. And I got these from ASOS. I always never used to really wear wedges because I always felt like, I always felt like wedges wouldn't look good on me because I have little skinny legs. Wedges tend to make your feet look bigger. This is what they look like. Oh, those are cute. I can't really tell, I need a mirror. I feel like I don't like it with this dress. Probably just take them with me on vacation and then if I don't wear them, bring them back home and send them back. These are super cute. I saw these a couple times. They're like square toe. It looks like about a three inch, um, a three inch heel. They've got these really thick straps. I like that the straps are thick so that they don't cut off our circulation. <laughs> but these are a little easier to walk in if you have a hard time walking in heels. Um, I don't, but just in case you do, they're shorter so you won't have a hard time walking in them. Which shoe do you guys like better with this dress? I think I might just wear my rose gold heels because I do have a rose gold purse that I got from ASOS too. But it's a purse. Isn't it cute? It has a little cage chain in there. But I feel like that would be cute with rose gold heels, so. So, these are from Boohoo. These were only like 20 bucks, I think. Maybe like 24. Okay, so next up is all the stuff that I got from Boohoo. These are some knit neon pants. These are a cover-up for obviously a um, beach situation. So, this is what it looks like. These are cute. I could actually wear this as an outfit. We've got this romper, which is a little small looking. What size did I get? Oh, it's petite. The problem with petite is that I can't do rompers in petite because they tend to be too short on me. So I ordered the wrong size. This is not an error by Boohoo by any means. This is an error on my part. I should not have gotten a petite. This is gonna be really short. That's gonna be like, that flies up all oh my goodies showing. It is cute though, it's a pretty color. I mean, everything can't be a swimsuit cover up. <laughs> I have to have some regular clothes too. I just have long limbs. I'm a short person but I have long limbs. Like I have a long torso, I have long legs, long arms. I can't wear short people's stuff, even though I'm short. This is a, what appears to be a romper as well. Schneid it. Okay, okay, okay. BG, why do you keep jumping and bothering me? Can't you see I'm working? It is a little snug, but I like it like that. I like it like that. 
adjustable like a little kid. I feel like I look like I'm 12. Adjustable stuff is my best friend when it comes to, you know, tops and stuff like that because I have no boobs. And so that way I can adjust to my liking without having to worry about it being open or too big. Adjustable stuff is my fave. That would be cute with my green Crocs too. Listen, I feel like I've been wearing a lot of orange reds, a lot of bright neon colors. So I've tried to go for something a little bit more subtle. You know what I'm saying? Something a little bit more like, I don't know, cool toned, some cool tones. This is the top. She's a little open in the front and then the back is like that. We've got some cute little outfits. Oh my gosh. I normally don't wear stuff like this because it's really girly. I like the blue too. I normally don't wear this shade of blue, but like I said, I wanted it to be a little bit more cool tone. This I went for something a little bit more, I don't know, little house on the prairie. Handmaiden's tail, but make it fashion. Let me tie. This is what it would look like if you left it unbuttoned. Okay. And then you can also button it all the way up, you know, more Christ-like. Okay, this is a cover-up. This is a like metallic mesh cover-up. It's for a swimsuit, obviously, but of course, if you are feeling fancy, you can wear it um, with like a short shorts and a tube top like this. This does feel more so like a acrylic material than a knit material. So if you want something softer, this might not be your go-to, but because it is metallic, it's gonna have that feel. But you see how it like shimmers and shines when you walk? I also got another one just in case I didn't like the color of this one, because this is more of a rose gold. We're going to the beach, but we're also gonna eat that night or something. So I wanna look kind of cute, but not really. So obviously you can tie it to tighten it. Um, but that's what that looks like. I like this one. I think I like this one better than the, that rose gold one. She's cute. She is expensive. She is grown. She is about her money and her business and maybe her man. This is real Grecian looking. I feel like I should go to Athens with this on or something like Mykonos. All right. I also got a swimsuit. Not going to really try it on, but I got a separate. So I got a polka dot bottom black. And then I got a white polka dot top, okay? And I plan to wear this with this outfit that I'm about to put on. I am gonna try on the top, because I do need to try on the top. Oh, it's tie. Oh, it's a tie top. Oh, okay. This is the last thing. It's a set, so it's a mesh. And then you use this to tie it. Got that top and then the bottom. So it's the bottom and the little beach outfit. That's cute. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys some shoes that I got that kind of go with all my beach stuff. Like some espadrilles. What, I don't know, what is this called? <laughs> Straw. But they are cute though, and they fit nicely. That's what those look like. Just a simple, simple espadrille. So yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little try on. Talk with you guys. Let me know if you guys like when I try stuff on and talk to you guys. Um, oh, I got a bag too. I don't remember if I showed you the bag. Did I show you all the bag? It's just a little basic bag from Boohoo, um, like a beach bag. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see more try on videos like this one where I try stuff on and talk about it. I don't know if you guys like that more than just me doing a regular old try on haul where I put music behind it and speed it up. Um, some people have a short attention span, I do too, so I like those videos. But if you guys like me to talk about the stuff that I tried on, let me know and I could do more videos like this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Oh, be sure to check the description box. Everything you need is down below, all the links to everything. Um, and yeah, that's it.